once again to put aside all you think you know, all you believe to be true. Time to open your mind to the strange, bizarre, and sometimes terrifying world that exists in the shadows and fringes of our own, where myth, legend, and rumor are made real. Yes, it's time for more thrilling Tales from the West Virginia Hills. In tonight's thrilling story, Sideshow Snallygaster. The carnival has come to the Tyler County Fairgrounds. Billy Harding and his dad wander past the games and rides. Cotton candy in hand, peanut shells and popcorn crunching beneath their feet as a sideshow barker counts a frightful attraction. Hurry, hurry, hurry! Come one, come all! Come and see the Snallygaster! The most dreaded creature this side of creation! What a wicked beast! Hunting the prehistoric skies! The cruel mistress of time has turned its wings into mere appendages! Spawning this fearsome six-legged monstrosity! Hurry, hurry, hurry! Step right up and behold the stupendous Snallygaster! Yes, I want to go see the Snallygaster. Oh, hogwash. Sideshows are a swindle, Billy. All just smoke and mirrors. But he said it has six legs. <laughs> Trust me, son. When you get inside, all you'll see is a, a shaved bear with extra legs glued on. Aw, Dad, please, I'm begging you. Billy, Billy! Whoa, whoa, slow down there, champ. Sorry, Miss Ari. Hi, Teddy. Were you just in there looking at the Snallygaster? My dad says it's a fake. I tried, but it costs five tickets. Five tickets? It's got to be real if it costs that much. Yeah, that's what I thought, too. You know, it was a carny who coined the phrase, there's a sucker born every minute. Dad. Anyway, when I didn't have enough tickets, I tried sneaking You did not. Did so. Sorry, Mr. H. <laughs> it's okay, Teddy. Your secret's safe with me. Gee, thanks. So, I went around the back, looking for a place to sneak under the tent. And overheard two workers say the Snally Gaster escaped. Escaped? You're kidding! All right, all right. I, I, I hate to break it to you, boys, but that's just a publicity stunt to stir up intrigue. Those men were scared stiff. What should we do, Dad? Well, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going home. If you two want to stay longer, then so be it. But what about the Snally Gaster? <laughs> like I said, no such thing. Just don't dawdle too long, understand? They're closing soon. Okay, Dad. You think he's right about it being fake? I don't know. Well, the only thing I have enough for is the fun house. Wanna go? Same here. Come on, it's this way. Something is loose at the carnival. But is it a menacing beast? Or just a cock and bull hoax? Tune in next time for the thrilling conclusion of Sideshow Snallygaster. Tonight, we bring you the final chapter of Sideshow Snallygaster. When last we left off, two boys, Billy and Teddy, were headed toward the fun house, trying to shake off the upsetting rumor that a dangerous beast escaped its cage. Wow, this fun house is bonkers. Tail. Yeah. It's a Snally Gaster. Look out! It's coming right at you. 
Tales from the West Virginia Hills.